Sometimes holiday cheers turn into one too many, setting the stage for a drunk drive home. All too often, someone is killed or injured. Alex Dimitrik reports a ceremony in Annapolis where some of those victims were remembered. Bert and I would like to remember our son, Brian Edward Robertson. Excuse me. It was 27 years ago. Carrying photographs and painful memories, people who lost loved ones to drunk drivers gathered for the annual Maryland Remembers Ceremony in Annapolis. My 12-year-old son, Darius Javon Brown. Deaths from drunk driving claim 180 lives on average each year in Maryland. Last year, out of 615 fatal accidents, 179 involved alcohol impairment. And December to New Year's Day is the deadliest period of the year for drunk driving accidents. That's why it's really important for people that sponsor parties, make sure you have food, that you don't have open bars, that you encourage people to have designated drivers. While memories and remembrance are important, those impacted by drunk drivers want something more. Have you had anything to drink tonight? I smell alcohol coming from the car. Mothers Against Drunk Driving is pushing for more visible enforcement, like the sobriety checkpoints, which increase this time of year. More checkpoints year-round might have saved Jan Withers' daughter. When people are aware of the um, uh, checkpoints, that they just, that reduces drunk driving. Just because they're aware of it, that reduces drunk driving by 20 percent. When this car was hit by a drunk driver, two teenagers were killed. Lisa Kirby's son was pulled alive from the wreckage. She wants to see DUI arrest carry stiffer penalties. And we see people doing it two and three times, and still not enough punishment to fit the crime. Especially when the aftermath brings enough pain to last a lifetime. Alex Dimitri, WJZ Eyewitness News. Last year in Maryland, 25,000 DUI arrests were made. Between now and New Year's, police will step up their crackdown, including more of those sobriety checkpoints.